Hey, my name is Simon and for the last year I've lived and traveled in this 1992 Dodge B350 Travel Home Camper Van. This van came to me with a conversion already complete from the factory, but that was 25 years ago, so it needed some updating. Mechanically, I kept everything as stock as possible, only upgrading the tire, suspension, and all around to handle the increased weight. Exterior carries a regular assortment of vents and taps, including fresh water, propane, black water, gray water, as well as vents for my furnace, stove, water heater, and fridge, all of which run off of a 30 liter propane tank that's underneath the van. Near the back, I've installed a hitch mounted rack for my motorcycle, solar panel on the roof to charge my house batteries, and a Wi Fi antenna under that panel for better reception while working. Inside, things start to get a little bit more customized. I really like the layout of this van. Moving the bed to the upper bunk gives me so much more room in the rear of the van for storage and amenities. The bed slides out to make a double bed or a queen size futon. Below the bed, the cab has the most comfortable seats I've ever seen in any camper van and a slew of customized little bits and pieces for my comfort and functionality. Behind that is the main living space, which I use as both the dining room table and desk for me to do my work at with the Wi-Fi antenna outlets. And in just a couple seconds, the dinette can become a couch or a bed if I have guests who are along for the ride. After the side doors, the kitchen stretches along the passenger side. There's a three-way fridge, a stove, a double sink, and counter space, and a flip-up cutting board. Above that, there's a load of customized storage with lighting to help me find what I'm looking for. I love to eat, so I definitely love to cook. Below the counter, there's my furnace, loads of storage for my shoes, laundry, and all my tools. In the back, I've made some more changes. It used to have a second sink and a shower, but I found them to be a bit redundant and the shower was too small for me to even use. So I tore them out and I replaced them with some sturdy plywood storage for my gear. There's also a toilet, which works fantastic, and I use it a fair bit. On the ceiling, I have the controller for the antenna, which allows me to aim a directional and Wi-Fi pickup from inside the van and lets me pick up signals up to two kilometers away if there's no interference. You have to make your house a home, so there's some sweet decorations all over this van, like a badge from my previous van that burned down, rest in peace Ollie, and some sweet embroidery bits my sister made. Lots of what makes this van great is its open feel and its climate control. The vent on the roof and the fans throughout make summer camping a breeze, and the furnace, dehumidifier, insulation make winter camping really cozy. In the end, it's not a five-star resort, but it's been a perfect balance of capable and affordable that has made traveling full-time and reality for me. This van has let me see some pretty crazy things and has always given me a comfortable place to call home no matter where I am.